topic of discussion for today is about halal, the word halal, H-A-L-A-L. -A -L. You know, I figured in the community nowadays, there, there's a bit of a confusion, the Muslim community in particular, there's a confusion as to what is halal and that's why I thought that this is an important discussion, something we need to talk about. These days, many Muslims mix their incorrect thinking and base it on cultural interpretation and adhere to that instead of following Islam. And with that, they make the haram halal and the halal haram. Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 5, goes into detail of what uh, halal foods well, actually, halal, we got to talk about that first. Halal could be a, a way of life for a Muslim that's permissible in Islam. And uh, also, we're going to hear, here we're going to focus on, however, here we will focus on halal in terms of meat. Okay. I'll, I'll leave the Arabic for you to read, and I'm going to read the English translation. So, the Ma'ada, verse 5. Today, all good, clean things have been made lawful for you, and the food of the people of the book is also made lawful for you, and your food is made lawful for them. And then it goes to talk about marriage, but we can leave that for another time. We'll leave that for you to read as well. With that being said, Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz had said this in reference to that particular verse, verse 5. He said, And the food of the people of the book, and the food of the people to whom have been revealed the book is permitted for you, meaning you and Muslims. When we say people of the book, we, re we are re referencing that to the Jews and the Christians. With that being said, the people, some people might say, the people of the book today are not the same as the people of the book, people of the book at the time during the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. That's incorrect. So the meat from the Christians, as well as from the kosher butcher, are halal for, for Muslims to eat. The Quran also speaks about the foods that are forbidden for us to eat, which are not halal. And that is Surah al verse 3. You are forbidden to eat the meat of any animal that dies by itself, parentheses, dead body, blood, the flesh of swine, parentheses, pork, and that on which any name other than Allah's had been invoked. Also that which is strangled death, killed by a violent blow, killed by a headlong fall, and of those beaten or gored to death, and that which has been partly eaten by a wild animal, unless you're able to slaughter it before its death. Also that which is sacrificed on altars or is divided by raffling of arrows. All these are sinful acts. Today the unbelievers have given up all their hope of vanquishing your religion. Have no fear of them, for fear me. Today I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and approved al-Islam as a deen Parenthesis, way of life for you. Anyone who is compelled by hunger to eat what is forbidden, not intending to commit sin, will find Allah forgiving, merciful. Hadith, Sahih al-Bukhari, in particular, uh, narrated by Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, has said that some people said to the Prophet, may the peace and blessings be upon him, that our people came to them with meat, which they did not, which they did not know whether the name of Allah had been mentioned on that meat or not. Uh, the Prophet's reply to them was, "Mention the name of Allah and eat it. Simple and easy. Not complicated, and it's pretty much to the point." and easy for us Muslims to understand, right? And that goes into Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ayah 4, which also talks about pronouncing the name of Allah onto the meat. Okay, it says here, Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ayah 4. 
in case you guys forgot. They ask you what food is lawful for them. Say all good, clean things are lawful for you, as well as what you, as well as what you have taught your hunting birds and beasts to catch, trained by you with the knowledge given to you by Allah. Eat what they catch and hold for you. However, pronounce the name of Allah over it. Have fear of Allah. Now I am rest assured after doing my, conducting my research that I can go and buy my meat from almost anywhere. And if we don't know who actually did the slaughtering, what we can do is what the Prophet had said to the people who brought the meat and were not aware whether it was, whether the name of Allah was pronounced the meat or not. He told them, the Prophet may be some blessings be upon him, he told them, pronounce the name of Allah, which, bis which is Bismillah, and then you can eat it. If you ever are in doubt, simply pronounce that, mention the name of Allah, which is Bismillah, and then wash it and then cook it and eat it as you like. If something is stated in the Quran and in the authenticated hadith, then you must not question it. We must accept it. And I think, I hope that I made the point clear about the word halal, H-A-L-A-L. -A -L. Thank you.